Today, we are going to use lines, shapes, and patterns in repetition to represent items you'll see in the natural world. Let's start off by drawing a tree. I know you've seen a tree before. Let's first start by drawing the trunk of the tree. Now let's add some branches. Here's a branch. There's a branch. Let's add some twigs to those branches. Two twigs on this branch, two twigs on that branch. And now let's add a leaf. Three leaves here, three leaves there. All together I had a trunk, two branches, four twigs, and six leaves. We can add those up. Another way that you can use lines, shapes, and patterns is by drawing waves. The way you draw waves is like this. Three, four, five. I just drew five waves. Maybe I'll make my waves taller and make more of them. Notice how I can represent waves doing the same motion over and over again, repeating a pattern. The same thing goes for drawing sharp teeth. I can do a zigzag motion back and forth and it looks just like sharp teeth. Some sharp shark teeth or maybe an alligator or maybe something else with sharp teeth. All it takes is repeating this pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I drew seven teeth. Another way that you can repeat a pattern is with a fish. I'm going to give this fish some scales. All fish have scales after all. Hmm, I wonder how many scales I can fit on top of this fish. Hmm, I'll finish later, but as you can see, doing the same pattern over and over again lends itself to this being a fish. One of the last things I want to show you is a circle. Now there's another circle, and another, and another, and next thing you know, we have a whole bunch of bubbles. If you've washed your hands or taken a bath before, then you may have recognized this repeated pattern. They all look like bubbles. Just by repeating circles over and over again, you're showing what bubbles look like. But maybe, instead of bubbles, you want to use your ability to draw circles over and over again to show frog eggs. Or maybe you want to use your ability to draw circles over and over and over again to represent a caterpillar. Looking at the way you can use lines, shapes, and patterns helps you see better about how natural things are composed. Tonight, you too will be using your drawing skills using shapes, patterns, and lines to represent things you see in the natural world.